What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review on a Thundercats classic toy. This time around, I just got done with the Lion-O. Did want to do Mumra. So uh, again, excellent figures. But yeah, so here's Mumra. And you'll notice, he's just freaking awesome. Can't get over it. I mean, this is beautiful. I love the, like, I thought this was just really weird. These, uh, these uh, toilet paper strings here. But it's just freaking awesome. Now I'm jumping ahead of myself. I haven't even started the review. I'm already telling you guys what I feel. But this is Mumra. And, you know, just uh, because I can, I do want to put Lino back here in the background just chilling. Just watching me do the review. Or like those weird porn videos where like that the butler guy is just standing in the corner while he's watching like people do stuff. So creepy Lino back there while I do this review. Um, so yeah, here's Mumra, um, what can I say, beautiful figure, Bondi is just nailing these, like, this is just crazy, again, I do like to mention all the time that I'm sure they're taking the uh, technologies and articulation, uh, things that they learn from their other higher end figures and just passing them along to these figures, uh, which are made to be much more affordable than their higher end stuff. So don't complain about the prices, guys. Uh, a good Bandai, highly articulated figure does run about 50, 60 bucks. And they're much smaller. So be happy with what we got here. So this is a beautiful Mumra rendition. This is the classic one. They do have a, a six inch version of the newer one, but this is by far my favorite Mumra of the new releases. And it's in a great six inch scale. Uh, let me put Creepy Lionel next to him. Uh, he is a bit bigger. Because Mumra is bigger. And let's put Creepy Lionel back here. Actually, let's make him creepier. Let's just put him like sort of looking from the background there. And this figure is beautifully done in PVC plastic. And, you know, before I even continue with the figure, I do want to show you the box. The box is just... Like the other classics, it's a nice long box window thing going on with the the uh, the screened Mumra name there. And one thing I didn't show you guys on the Lionel review is the the artwork that's on the side here. Here's the Lionel one. It looks like they're uh, it, it's obviously classic animated Thundercats, but uh, I think that's just like newer artwork. It looks pretty new. And on the back, you got them cross-selling you some other figures. It tells you it includes extra hands. And up here it says that the Thundercats are roaring back in action. These highly detailed and articulated figures are based on the classic 1980s animated Thundercats series. And I happen to be a kid back in the 80s. I'm an old man now. But I happen to be a kid back in the 80s. So seeing these things come out now is just... I don't know. It's just freaking amazing. But... Let's get Mumra back in here. Um, he does come with the two extra hands. I don't really feel the need to show you guys those, but they are there. They, the hands pop off. There's a ball joint. You know, uh, there's no weapons for me to show you, so there's really no point in me showing you the hands, guys. Um, but he does come with uh, more like closed hands to hold weapons. Um, now, out of the box, he does not come with with his little mummy straps attached, which is a little weird when I first tried to put them on they're, they're kind of like supposed to flow like in front of him like this um, you know but because they're in the package they kind of get warped a little bit but um at first I found them to be a tad annoying like displaying the figure but you really need these on him to get the full effect so I leave them on even though he knocks over a bunch of other figures that I have standing there or this will get any other figures face like this you know and I'm sure it's really annoying to the figures on my shelf. But that's okay. Mumra could do what he wants. Now, what I do want to show you now is the articulation. Uh, got the head here. A little more articulation than Lionel's head. Because at least this moves up and down just a tad. Turns. Um, it, it's, it's a great sculpt. I'll do a little close-up in a second. Uh, articulation, again, amazing. I mean, that's just it's just beautiful. You got the shoulder, you got the bicep swivel, 
you got the elbow. Uh, it's not a double jointed elbow, but it's just enough articulation. I mean, um, you know, good for what it is. You do get the wrist, slight movement on the ball joint there. Um, he has a waist too, which is really cool. It's not a dual uh, jointed waist and chest like Lino. Um, they kind of probably could have done it with the edge here of his chest, but you know, it would have just made a big seam line. Would have looked a little bit weird. Uh, his skirt is a tad pliable, um, not too soft, but again, it's cold in this room, so uh, the plastic will be a little harder. But it does give a little for his leg here. Um, it does have the swivel up here. Um, you got the knee, no double jointed knee like Lino. You get this big ass kneecap. You do get the swivel here, and then you got the feet which rock back and forth and like this. Hey, and look, guys, the uh, ankles are the same color as his feet. So, well done. And like I said, we're going to take a closer look at the head sculpt. Beautiful. This is great. This is great. I love the gold paint that's used on that. They could have just cheesed out. And you'll see this pops off. It's not broken. It's just a sliding piece, which I didn't snap in perfectly before the review. But, um, yeah, beautiful. They could have just used some cheesy goldish color but it looks really nice and metallic and the fact that they use multiple paint apps on the face I like too because a lot of companies try and get away with making everything one color thinking like nobody will notice but this is obviously catered to collectors so you know because really it's the collectors that are buying this stuff because of you know the show they remember as kids uh, you know specifically people like me so that's gonna be it guys this brings me to the end uh, I'd like to thank Mumra for chilling with us these few minutes while I do this review. And I'd like to thank Creepy Lino for being creepy in the corner there. And if you have any questions or comments, guys, again, leave them below. I answer most of my comments, so don't be afraid to ask anything. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you like the videos. And I will be back soon with more. Goodbye, guys.